Hi, I'm Mike from Brockman's Gin, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a Floradora Passionate Dame with the guys here at Cramble. So the recipe is going to come from the Brockman's Gin book of cocktails for this Floradora Passionate Dame. And the first thing we're going to need is my cocktail kit. Uh, and the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to take some of this beautiful, juicy fresh melon, about five or six of these big chunks. We're going to go into this shaker and then we're going to take one of my favourite pieces of cocktail equipment. This is called a muddler. This is going to squash all of those, all of that melon, try and get as much juice as we can of those. Beautiful. So then we need some ice. We want to about half fill this smaller side of this shaker with ice. So just, just one scoop in there. And then some gin. Brotman's gin, we're always going to measure for cocktails. And we're going to use one double measure of Brotman's gin. Next thing is some passion fruit. Lovely fresh passion fruit, great colour on these. Take one of my bar spoons. We're going to use half a passion fruit. Try and get them all in there. And then for sweetness, some agave syrup. So this is a little bit better for you than sugar. Um, and we just want just one bar spoon or one teaspoon in with all the other ingredients. So, now we need to give this a good shake. Seal up our shaker, and the key to a good shake is a click clack. So we want the ice to go right to the back and then right to the front. Shake all those ingredients together as hard as you can. Beautiful. So, our glass, some fresh ice cubes. Good scoop, should nearly fill the glass. And we're gonna take a strainer. And this will keep the ice, the, the, the old ice, what we call the dirty ice in here, we'll keep that in there. And then we get to pour this. All of that gin, all of that melon, the sweetness from the agave. Every last drop out of there. And then the last thing we need to do is take some of this ginger ale. Make sure it's ginger ale and not ginger beer. And again, to keep the fizz in the ginger ale, top that up beautifully. We start the recipe. We used all that fresh melon. So we're gonna take a lovely slice of fresh melon, tuck that in over the side. And that is a Floradora, the passionate dame.